Hello and welcome to Noonday Prayer for November 29th. Today is Wednesday in the week of the last Sunday after Pentecost, and we're coming to you from Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral in Kansas City, Missouri. Our service today begins on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. There will be a link for you to click on if you wish to follow along. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm for today can be found on page 727, Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson today is from Luke chapter 21, verses 20 through 28. When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains, and those inside the city must leave it, and those in the country must not enter it. For these are days of vengeance, as a fulfillment of all that is written. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days, for there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against his people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near. Thanks be to God. Our reading today, though it may sound a little bit frightening, is a parallel to what we have been hearing in the lectionary from Matthew. Jesus has been asked after he's arrived in Jerusalem for the last week of his life, he's been asked by the people, how will we know when the Son of Man is coming? How can we be prepared as Matthew is telling us to be prepared? Well, in Luke, we hear just the straight responses from Jesus. 
and this is one of them. There will be a great deal of foreboding in the world. And as we know now, there was in the time of Jesus' crucifixion. He went around the city of Jerusalem and those following the law were afraid. He was a threat to them and a threat to all that they knew. When I first read the lesson for today, I was immediately reminded of what is going on in Israel and Gaza right now. And some may say that this is the beginning of what Luke speaks of. So I say, as we enter into Advent, let us be prepared in love knowing that God is always with us and will be with us, just as Jesus rose again after all of the foreboding. He fulfilled his promises in the resurrection. Our service continues on pages 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I pause now for any personal intercessions or thanksgivings that you may have. Dear Lord, we pray for all those suffering from violence and war throughout the world. May we have faith that you know all and love all and are in the midst of them. We pray for all those who are hungry and with no shelter in the cold weather. We pray for the children, Lord. We pray for the coming of Advent May it be to all your people a time to prepare for the coming of the Christ child. We give you thanks, Lord, for the people of the cathedral and all people throughout the world who spread the love of God. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.